All right, we've got a Lenovo here. Now this one is a bit tricky. One of my friends on YouTube recommended that I, this is gonna be part two by the way, check the SIO, <coughs> Super IO. Check the connections from Super IO to the keyboard. One of them, one of the channels, one of the traces may be damaged. Now I was told by the client that they simply rotated the screen all the way and this problem started to happen the problem is some of the keys work some do not work you replace them with another keyboard brand new one so being brand new we can understand there may be sometimes faults maybe one or two keys not working but it's the exact same keys that are not working so that tells us there is a problem with the board somewhere on the board with the connection to super io <coughs> Or client is not telling us exactly what happened to this unit. <coughs> so let's have the Lenovo charger. Let me see the Lenovo. I do know the battery is a bit low. Okay, so I'm not going to waste time. I'm just going to take this back cover off. Off. I don't know why, but these guys are very sticky. Okay. Initially, I thought I'll just make a video on replacing the keyboard while the customer is waiting. which was not to be okay. Super I.O. is on the other side, bummer, okay. Okay. Let's take the keyboard out. So I learned my lesson, this model. Just push it to the right. I think it should come out. Concern about here to there. Mm, okay, 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 okay. There we go, that's our problem. Sometimes, you know, people are not telling the full truth. So let's have a look. Uh, microscope. Okay, let's have a look. Of course. Something to do with super IO. Okay, so 
let's see. What, what, what is that? What the hell is that? Is that liquid? What's this? Is there flux? No. How come it's on each corner? Is that from factory? In each corner. I don't think that's a problem. Why, why on each corner? What the hell is going on there? Will that come out? Never seen that before. Maybe that's nothing. That's normal. Okay, let's give it a clean. Let's put some alcohol. Let's get the brush. I doubt that's the issue. But I've never seen such a liquid on four corners. Which doesn't make sense. Not sure, but still, just clean these guys. I doubt there is anything wrong there. The intake key would not work before, so I can't even get into a BIOS. Yes, this worked. Huh? <clears throat> F1. F1 worked. No way. Enter works. Hallelujah. Go to date and time. I'm gonna set the date and time. Zero one zero three. Look at that. The problem is fixed. Wow. Twenty twelve. I couldn't tap that before. Tap wouldn't work before. Good. Okay. Let's reboot. Wow. What an interesting problem. <clears throat> so if it is liquid, we're going to assume it's liquid. 
<sighs> I don't think we got a pin number for this. Okay, they might have a guest account, let's say. So we check that may or may not work. Okay, touch screen. One one is now working, backspace working, before they will not work. Yeah. Yeah, great. Sign in options. I'm gonna type I'm gonna try the password. Shift Yep, shift works. Shift all the way. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yep. Yep. Wonderful. Problem is fixed. So why, why did this happen? If liquid was the problem, maybe it seeped in from the side somehow. Whatever it is, maybe it's fixed now let's connect these guys because the middle button didn't work either the little mouse let's see if that's part of the problem Okay, and nipple mouse is also working, so you can see the bottom, yep. Before it wouldn't move, now it does, okay. Yeah, hallelujah. Brightness, yep. Definitely liquid, yeah, most likely definitely liquid. Some time ago, I don't know. We just don't have a clear answer, we don't know. Yep, sweet. Brightness works too. Well, there we go. That's the end of the video. So we'll publish the video when the client accepts the quote. Otherwise, this goes in the archives to release in the future. See you in the next time. Next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.